We're now going to go through an example of computing a line integral of a vector field f over a curve c defined in R3. So our curve c is given by the parameterization r of t equals square root of t comma 2t comma 4 minus t squared as the parameter t runs from 1 to 2. So this curve is, is pictured here. Uh, you can check if you look at the ticks on the axes that t equals 1 is this point and t equals 2 is this point. So we're running from this point along this curve to this point as t runs from 1 to 2. Now our vector field f of x, y, z is given by x, y in the first coordinate, x squared plus z in the second coordinate, and 3y in the third coordinate. So this thing we're trying to compute we write the integral over c of f dot dr, which we could rewrite as the integral over c of f dot t ds, if we wanted to write it as a scalar line integral, where t is the unit tangent vector. It's r prime over the magnitude of r prime. Okay, so for instance, at the point corresponding to t equals 1, I have the tangent vector r prime and then I have a vector at the point given by f and what we're really integrating here is we're integrating the component of f that is tangent to the curve so the component of f that's in the direction of r prime so we're, so we're, so we're taking this dot product and we're sort of measuring the component of f that's tangent and, and that's the function that we're, we're integrating, f dot t ds. Now, given this parameterization r, I can always rewrite this integral as the integral from a to b, so in this case 1 to 2, of f of r of t dot r prime of t dt. And essentially that's because the ds has a factor magnitude of r prime in it, as we've seen in previous examples, and t is r prime over the magnitude of r prime, and so this TDS is the same thing as R prime DT, which is nice because then, you know, the, these magnitude of R primes always have square roots in them, which complicate the actual uh, single variable calculus work. All right, so R prime of T is what? So it's 1 over 2 root T, 2, and minus 2T. Two just differentiating each coordinate function with respect to t. All right, the other thing we need to know is our vector field f evaluated at an arbitrary point r of t. So that's f evaluated at root t, 2t, 4 minus t squared. And so the first component is x times y, or root t times 2t. So I get 2t to the 3 halves power. The second component is x squared plus z. Well, x squared is t, and plus z is 4 plus t minus t squared. The last component is 3 times y, which is 3 times 2t is 6t. Okay, so now we've evaluated our vector field at each point on the curve. We have a, a general formula for that, and we have a formula for r prime of t, and so now we're ready to compute this single variable integral. So we have the integral from 0, sorry, from 1 to 2 of 2t two to the 3 halves 4 plus t minus t squared 6t dot with 1 over 2 root t 2 minus 2t two all with respect to t. Okay, so let's simplify this. So 2t two to the 3 halves times 1 over 2 square root of t the twos cancel out and it reduces down to just t. And then we have plus and then two times this, so we have eight plus two t minus two t squared. And then 
plus, and then lastly we have 6t times negative 2t, so I have minus 12t squared. All right, so this is the function we're integrating with respect to t. Uh, let's see if we can reduce this down even more. So I really get, I have 8, I have t plus 2t is plus 3t, and then I have minus 14t squared. So the antiderivative of this is 8t plus 3t squared over 2 minus 14 t cubed over 3, all evaluated from 1 to 2, and so we get uh, 16 plus 3 times 4 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, minus 14 times 8 over 3, so I guess we get 112 over 3 and then minus an 8 minus 3 halves and plus 14 over 3 all right so we could simplify this but you know at this point we have uh, our answer the the constant that is this integral of f dot dr over c so it's good to understand that we're essentially integrating the scalar function which is the tangent component of f to the curve ds but that in the end we can use the parameterization r of t to compute f of r of t dot r prime of t dt and, and this is equal to this integral so this notation f dot dr is is there to remind us that this is what in the end we really um, should focus our attention on computing even though it's it's equal to this and so we go through, we compute R prime, we, we plug in R of T into F, and we get two vector, uh, really vector fields in terms of the parameter T. And when we take their dot product, I get a scalar function. And now I'm doing single variable calculus to come up with the correct answer.